there, I'm Shefani and today I'm joined by a very special guest. This is my sister Kaya. So Kaya, it's about time that you're back on my channel. What have you been up to? Finals. Finals. That's that's really been the main thing lately. Wow. In college. College. Wow. Yeah, lots of work. So well, thank You'll you. Have one more assignment. Oh, well, that's rubbish. You go ahead. <laughs> 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 Why don't you run through your school schedule? <laughs> so do you know that the video that we made together is actually the most popular video on this channel? Is it? It is! Oh, that's so nice! I'm excited! What are we making today? Today we are making cranberry pomegranate crostinis. These are absolutely delicious and perfect for the holidays. And there's only a few days left until Christmas. It's the most wonderful time of the year. You're not gonna sing with me? <laughs> so enough talking, let's get cooking. Happy holidays, Kaya. Happy holidays, Ani. So Kaya, we're going to give our cranberries a quick little rinse because they've been in a cranberry bog. They're probably quite dirty. Okay, sounds good. Oh, and look there, Kaya. We could have had, you know, Twigs and tree and moss trees. and yeah, trees. Definitely, that's tree. We could have had trees. So some cranberries, natural cane sugar, a little honey. But if you don't want to use honey, then you can use agave nectar, fresh ginger. Okay. Yeah. And a trick that I learned in school of how to peel one of these things is to use a spoon. Then we add in the ginger and we pulse. So the reason why we pulse this mixture is because we still want the texture. We don't want like a paste. We want to break it down so you're not like eating just whole cranberry. Then we just pop the lid on and then this will go into the fridge for at least an hour. I like to leave it in the fridge overnight because it allows the cranberries and the ginger to kind of, you know, flavor. So? Kind of marinate and the flavors just become a lot better when you let it sit for a while. Diagonal pieces of bread. And then you're going to take each piece of bread and just lightly brush it with oil. So now we're going to stick these in the oven to crisp up on both sides, flipping them halfway through their bake time. So now that our cranberry ginger mixture has marinated for a while, we're going to add in some other elements, pomegranate seeds. Grate in some orange zest. Okay, so now that our crostinis have come out of the oven, they're beautifully toasted and gorgeous, we're going to now assemble everything. This is something you can do ahead of time. You do not need to do this right before you serve. The crostini can be done ahead of time, this can be done ahead of time, and then you just assemble it before your guests arrive. We had a party here last week, and I did this very thing, didn't I? Mm -hmm, and I they went in like the first 30 seconds. <laughs> I didn't get to try one. Now I get like a whole tray. <laughs> Chop up some mint leaves here. It's a delicious addition of flavor to these crostini. Now if you guys want to, you could put a, a small layer of cream cheese, vegan cream cheese spread on the bottom and that would give a lot of contrast to this. I've done that before and that's delicious, but today we're just keeping it simple and putting it straight on the bread. And you can present these crostinis in many different ways. Like last week at the party, I put it on just a cutting board. It's a beautiful way of, of contrasting the colors like this. It shows up very nice. And always a white plate is always gorgeous. To sprinkle with a little bit of mint. And then if some of you are gluten free or you are avoiding bread, then you could use lettuce leaves and this really is beautiful too. And this is also for those of you who want to stay raw, because this is completely raw. Isn't that pretty though? That's so With pretty. the green and the red it looks very Christmassy. Yeah, it does. That's really good. Mm -hmm. We wish you a Merry Christmas. 